I'm so excited that you're here to learn about Adelo. If you've ever wanted to build your own app but didn't want to get bogged down with coding, you're in for a treat. Adelo is a powerful, no-code platform that makes app development easy, even for complete beginners. Whether you're just getting started or already have a little experience, Adelo can help you turn your ideas into reality without writing a single line of code. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to create your very first app using Adelo. From signing up, choosing your app type, designing your app, to sharing it with the world I've got you covered. I'll make sure to explain every step in detail, so you don't feel overwhelmed. By the end of this, you'll be ready to create and share your very own custom app. Ready to dive in? Let's go! To get started with Adelo, the first thing you'll need to do is create an account. Don't worry, it's completely free to sign up, and the whole process is super simple. When you land on the homepage, look for a button in the top right corner that says Sign Up or Get Started. Click that, and it'll bring you to the registration page. It's here that you'll fill in a few basic details. Just start by entering your email address. Make sure it's one you check regularly because Adelo will send you important updates and notifications to this email. It'll also be the main way for you to stay connected with your account. Next, create a password. Pick something secure but easy for you to remember since you'll need it to log in every time. You don't want to forget it, so make sure it's something you're comfortable with. Then, enter your full name. This is the name that'll be linked to your Adelo account, so just double check that everything's spelled right before moving forward. Once you've filled everything in, click on the Let's Do This button, and it'll take you to the next step, where you'll need to choose how you plan to use Adelo. This could be for building a personal project, a business app, or something else entirely. Based on your choice, Adelo will guide you through the setup process and tailor the experience to suit your needs. Now you're going to be asked how you plan to use Adelo. You'll see a drop-down menu with several options. If you plan to develop an app for a business or to sell, you can select the appropriate option, which may provide you access to additional features. Once you make your choice, click Go Build Apps. You'll be taken to the app building dashboard where you'll get to pick the type of app you want to create. The next thing you'll do is decide what type of app you want to build. Adelo gives you two main options to choose from. If you want your app to work well on both mobile devices and desktops, you can go with the responsive web app option. This automatically adjusts the layout based on the screen size. On the other hand, if you're only interested in building a mobile app for smartphones or tablets, you can select the mobile-only app option. For this tutorial, let's go with the mobile-only app option. Once you've selected it, just click Next, and we'll move on to the next step. One of the cool things about Adelo is that it provides you with a wide range of pre-designed templates to jumpstart your project. This is super helpful if you don't want to start from scratch, or if you're not sure how to structure your app yet. You'll see a range of templates for different kinds of apps. Whether you need a to-do list app, a social media app, a job board, or even a food delivery app, there's something for everyone. You can also choose a blank template if you want to create your app from the ground up, but for now, let's work with a template to save time. Once you've selected the template, click Next to move on to the next stage. The next part is all about making your app uniquely yours. Once you've selected your template, you'll be asked to give your app a name. Think about the purpose of your app and what you want it to represent. If you're building a to-do list, you might name it something simple like Taskmaster, My List, or something that reflects its function. Along with naming your app, you'll also have the option to customize the branding. This means you can set your app's primary and secondary colors. 
These colors will be used throughout the app to make it look cohesive and visually appealing. You can use colors that match your personal brand, the vibe you want your app to convey, or simply pick colors that look good together. Once you've filled in your app name and chosen the colors, click Create, and Adelo will set up your app in the editor. Okay, now we're in the Adelo app editor. This is where all the magic happens. You'll notice that your app already has a few pages pre-built for you, depending on the template you chose. For example, the to-do list template comes with pages like Welcome, Sign Up, Login, Home, and Account. The Adelo editor is super intuitive. On the left side, you'll see a sidebar where you can select and navigate between the different pages of your app. The center area is where you can see and edit the content of the page you're working on. Let's start by customizing the welcome page because this is the first thing users will see when they open your app. To do this, click on the welcome page in the left sidebar and it will open up for you to edit. On the welcome page, there are a few important elements you can adjust. First, there's the app name. You can change this to whatever you want so feel free to make it more personal if you'd like. Next, there's the images section, which could include your logo or a background image for your app. If you want to change the image, just click on it, and in the left sidebar, you'll find options to upload a new image from your computer, link to an image online, or even choose an image from a database if you're integrating with one. If you want to change the button on this page, click on the button element. A sidebar will appear on the left side, where you can customize it. You can change the text to something like Get Started or Sign Up, adjust the color to match your app's theme, and set the action that happens when the button is clicked. For example, you can link it to the Sign Up page. Next up, let's look at the Sign Up and Login pages. These pages are essential for any app that requires user registration and login. On the Sign Up page, you can customize the form fields. You'll typically have fields for things like Name, Email, Password, Confirm Password. Click on each form field to modify it. For example, you can change the placeholder text, make certain fields mandatory, or even add new fields if your app needs extra information from the user. For the login page, you'll follow a similar process. This page will have fields for users to input their username slash email and password. Again, feel free to tweak the layout, change colors, and make sure everything is aligned with your app's branding. The home page is typically where the main content of your app will live. For the to-do list app, this is where users will see their tasks or to-do items. On this page, you might want to add a list, a button to add new tasks, and other elements that make the app functional. Adelo lets you easily add components like lists, forms, buttons, and inputs. You can drag and drop these elements to customize the layout. For example, you might add a button to create new tasks a list to show the current tasks, and even a way to mark tasks as completed. The home page is a crucial part of your app because it's where users will interact with the core features of your app, so take your time to make it look and feel right. Once you've made all your edits, it's time to preview your app. This is an essential step because it gives you a chance to see how the app will actually look and behave when it's live. In the top right corner of the editor, there's a button labeled Preview. Click on this, and Adelo will open a preview version of your app. This preview will display your app in a mobile format, so you can get a real sense of the user experience. Go through each screen, try out the buttons, and make sure everything works as expected. You'll want to check for things like navigation, functionality, and overall appearance. If something doesn't look right, don't stress. Just hop back into the editor and make your changes. Once you're happy with your app and feel like it's ready to share, 
Adelo makes it really easy to get the word out. The best part is that you don't have to wait for your app to be published in app stores to start sharing it. You can get started right away, and there are a few different ways to do it. First, you can grab your app's link. Simply copy the link to your app and share it with anyone you like. You can send it through email, text messages, or even post it on social media. It's a super easy way to get people to check it out. Another awesome option is the QR code feature. Adelo will generate a unique QR code for your app, which makes it perfect for in-person promotions or events. Imagine you're at a trade show or hosting a launch party. Just print out the QR code or display it on a screen, and anyone nearby can scan it with their phone and instantly access your app. It's a fast and simple way to share your creation with others. If you're focusing on a specific audience, you can even share the app link via SMS. This is especially useful if you're sending a link to a group of people, whether that's a targeted audience or a specific group you want to connect with. No matter how you want to share it, Adelo makes it easy for you to get your app in front of others before it hits the app stores. So go ahead, start sharing, and get feedback from your audience. If you want to publish your app to the app stores, you'll need to upgrade your plan to one of Adelo's paid options. The free version allows you to create and share apps, but if you want to officially publish on the App Store or Google Play, you'll need a paid plan. Once you've upgraded, you'll have all the tools you need to submit your app to the app stores and start reaching a larger audience. From creating an account to customizing your app's design, previewing it, and sharing it with others, this guide should have you feeling confident in using Adelo.